We begin at five with a new advisory and forecast track on Tropical Storm Isaias just released in the last few minutes. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with a look at the potential threat to us here in South Florida. Craig. So guys, I don't think we've got a lot of good news in this new advisory, unfortunately. One of the things that we were kind of hopeful for was that the storm would go across the mountainous part of Hispaniola there, but it has kind of skirted around it. It looks like it's a bit disrupted, but the pressure is falling. That's an indication of a strengthening storm, although the winds are basically steady at 60 miles an hour. So far, we haven't seen any weakening. Uh, we would see weakening if it's going to happen now between now and about the next 12 hours, but that may not be the case. The storm may be mostly intact. So that's certainly not something we were hoping for there. We were hoping that we would have some weakening in the crossing process here. Moving to the northwest at 20, it's still moving fast. It is going to slow down its forward speed as it gets closer to Florida. Let's show you what's going on now. There are tropical storm watches for much of the east coast of Florida. They haven't popped up yet. That usually comes up a little bit slower in the advisory package. So we'll have that for you where the exact watches and warnings are. But now basically Miami-Dade and Broward under a tropical storm watch for the possibility of tropical weather conditions, tropical storm conditions here in Miami-Dade and Broward. Uh, the key's not in it. The starting line is Ocean Reef North up the uh, east coast of Florida there to the Sebastian Inlet. Here is our uh, threat cone. This is the area of the tropical storm conditions. You can see it right there. And uh, there is just an update coming in, and I'm gonna grab that real quickly because I did have a question now uh, with us not seeing any hurricane warnings issued. Well, that's just the that's just the uh, the package there. I'll explain why in just a second. So here's where we are right now. There are the tropical storm conditions, and then here is the future track. Now the cone shows where the center is expected to be, but the storm is much much bigger than the cone. So all of this yellow area here is tropical storm conditions. This is later tonight. This is 2 a.m. Uh, tonight, tomorrow morning. And then after that, there's our next forecast points. 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, forecast to be a tropical storm. But look at this right here. Forecast now to be Category 1 hurricane. That is 2 a.m. Saturday morning, so Friday night time frame. In fact, our graphic here, that red area, that is the indication of the hurricane condition area. It's not all around the storm. It's just confined near the center here. Then as we go forward into time, now we're into Saturday afternoon. This is around the 2 p.m. time frame. So basically just a beam of us, and there is that hurricane condition threat area out there, tropical storm conditions right up onto the Florida coast. And then after that, it's Saturday night, and then eventually Sunday and Monday. And you can see the tropical storm threat and hurricane threat extend well up into the Carolinas. Here's what we've seen today. There's the visible loop and still a big kind of blob here, but what we've also seen is some consolidation around the, where the northern part of the storm is. There's the new point there on the northern side of the Dominican Republic. It shows up a little bit better in the, uh, the enhanced satellite imagery here. Big, big thunderstorms around here. And so as the center now doesn't have to stay over land much longer and begins moving away, it's expected to begin an intensification trend. That's what's going on there. The uh, Puerto Rico just being slammed by the dirty side of Isaias. Now here's what we're still thinking, tropical storm here in South Florida, and our preps haven't changed. Check flashlights, generators, wind issues, secure anything that can be blown around. This should be done by sunset tomorrow night. Still, I think it's a good idea to check shutters because I think by tomorrow morning with a few more runs of the computer models, we'll know exactly how close this is gonna be to South Florida, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty close. More on that in our forecast coming up.